Welcome to our lecture online. Before we define how we come up with that equation for the two lenses put side by side, we're going to approach this in a general fashion. We're going to take two lenses that don't necessarily have to be side by side, that could potentially have some distance in between them. And let's say we place an object to the left of the first lens, which has a focal length of f1, and we have a second lens of distance d away from the first lens with focal length 2. Notice the, clomen, the nomenclature that s means the object distance and s prime means the image distance. And yes, since there's two lenses, there's going to be two objects and two images. So first of all, the object distance from our first object to our first lens is called s1. We then assume that that's going to form an image over here, and the distance from our first lens to the first image is going to be s1 prime. Now the first image of the first lens becomes the object of the second lens. So image one now becomes object for the second lens, so we call it object two. And this now represents the object distance. And of course that's going to be a negative distance because the object is to the right of the lens. The magnitude of the object distance is going to equal the total distance from the first lens to the image, which now becomes object two, and subtract from that d2. So we can see that s2 is going to be the negative, because it's on the right side of the lens, of the difference between the distance from the first lens to the image minus the distance between the two lenses. And so S2 becomes D minus S1. So now we're going to try to find the distance to the first image, the distance to the second image, and the way that's done is we use the lens equation, which says that 1 over the focal length is equal to 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. If we solve this equation for the image distance, we get 1 over the image distance is 1 over the focal length minus 1 over the object distance. Or, we can put it in the product over the sum uh, methodology, and so we can write that s prime, the distance to the image, is equal to the product of the object distance and the focal length divided by the object distance minus the focal length. So using that same equation for the first image, the distance to the first image is going to be equal to the object distance times the focal length of the first lens divided by the object distance minus the focal length of the first lens. So then we realize that S2, which is the object distance for the second lens, is going to be the distance between the lenses minus S1 prime because of this negative sign right here. So then if we find the distance to the second image, relative to the second lens, that's S2 prime, that's going to equal S2, which is the distance from the object to the second lens, S2 times the focal length of the second lens divided by S2 minus F2. Remember that S2 was defined as the distance between the lenses minus S1 prime, so we're going to replace S2 by D minus S1 prime, both in the numerator and in the denominator. Then we realize that S1 prime was defined by this equation right here. So now we can take S1 prime and replace it by S1 F1 over S1 minus F1, both in the numerator and the denominator. Notice in the numerator, this is multiplied times F2. In the denominator, we have minus F2. Then if we clean it up a little bit algebraically, we then end up with an equation where the distance to the second image wherever it may be, and I just happened to draw it there, this is just in general, so we're looking for S2 prime, that distance right there, is equal to DF2, the distance between the lenses, times the focal length of the second lens, minus S1, F1, F2, notice that when I multiply F2 times D, you get DF2, multiply this times this, you get in the numerator, S1, F1, F2, divided by S1 minus F1. In the denominator, since we're subtracting, we get d minus f2, and then minus this quantity right here, which is s1 f1 divided by s1 minus f1. So this gives you the general equation for the position of the second image, the final image, when you have two lenses with focal lengths f1 and f2, with a distance d in between, and the object placed as s1. And so that's how you define the position of the final image. And we're going to use this equation now to try to come up with a general equation for the focal length of a double lens when the two lenses are together when d goes to zero. So we'll do that in the following videos.